Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits um, review. I nearly forgot what I was going to say then. So today I'm going to be reviewing this fella. Cimarosa and it's their Ruby, Ruby, rather, Ruby Cabernet. And it's a Californian red. Oof. Fucking hell, I can't get the lid open. <coughs> oh, my teeth. Fucking hell. I just imagine some old deer trying to open that. Sitting there all night. Not being able to get a drink. So around about 150 or something along them lines. Makes for a, a nice glass. There's a bit left in there, to be fair. 12.5% ABV and uh, cheers and after a day in the rain again started off lovely as well yeah I was mowing at 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, it's great having farmers as neighbours because you can make as much noise as you like because they're already making noise as well and obviously I'm in the middle of nowhere so it doesn't really matter and a, a flying uh, roopsy um, but yeah um, Yeah, mowing away and it was nice. Got one got got one lawn done, it must have been about ten ish. And then um I had a battle with a wasp nest this week. So I'm I'm edge trimming the other day, doing this privet. Fucking massive privet, it's about twelve foot on the top. It's two hedges together. Uh, these farmers are alright, they've got their big um sidearm flails. I've got a raggy's fucking edge trimmer and, it, and getting it super straight as well. And it was, it is super straight to be fair. Um, I'm going along, next month, oh you bastard. And I think, what the fuck was that? Fucking nettle or something, because I've seen some nettles. And uh, on the side of them, eh? and that was my net. All of a sudden I've seen this thing sticking out of my fucking belly. I've got two t-shirts on as well. And I picked it and chucked it and it was this thing from a wasp. The bastards. So, um, <clears throat> I looked so long, and where it was, all of a sudden, wasp coming out like a fucker. I thought, oh, you bastards. Next day, I comes in. Two sprays of wasp killer. Whoosh, fucking spraying them. Obviously, I didn't do it. didn't do it for gold. <clears throat> so then yesterday, I thought, right, you bastards. Uh, got some of that powder that you use on cockroaches and lice and wood lice and all that sort of thing. But it should be good for wasps. So I got it, start squirting that in a little bit at a time, and um, yeah, squirting that in a little bit of time. Then all of a sudden the lid came off and the whole lot fucking squirted in. And so this nest, it's at the bottom of the edge, big nest of fucking, um, fucking things. Um, the wasps, and they're still flying in and out. They're all flying out with a white little powder on them like that, like Father Christmas wasps. And I thought, oh, I still haven't got them. So yesterday afternoon the wind died, and I sprayed into the nest. I kept spraying, like I could see wasps dying. Thought, yes, you bastard. You fucking sting me. You're getting it back now. And it went up this morning, and uh, there was still one in there, so I gave him some spray. Dead. And uh, I defeated them. Shits. They haven't been bees, obviously. You, you will, but bees don't attack you like that, you know. Um, bees only sting when you actually go and try and swat them. But wasps are just nasty fucking things. Ruff. Anyway, back to the wine review, eh? That's what we're here for. So someone's just tried to send me a message or something. Let's click on Let's put it. Let's put a So, on the nose, obviously, they call it red wine, but it's, you might as well call it black wine. But uh, red lives matter. Red wine matters, yeah. But anyway, I guess we'll get away from all that. Um, ooh, good aroma. Ooh. 
some twang to it. Now I've just had a beer, quite a traditional beer. Um, so on the nose, definite black fruits on the nose, hint of cherry, but I'll wait till I get a little bit, let my mouth get washed out of it. It's a nice one. Um, I reviewed a beer um, a day or two ago now, and um, they just mentioned me on their Instagram page, which is obviously, you know, you you review beers and you try to be positive. Well, beers, all alcohol, and it's nice when you get some reciprocation because obviously, I've not they've not given me the beer to review. I'm everything that's here is all bought by me. The only thing I haven't bought is them box steam ones and I actually won them in a competition. Um, and uh, that might be a future review, thinking about it. <laughs> but it's nice because they're sharing my things. So that bumps my Instagram up. Also might bring more people to YouTube and uh, you know they might they might even like my reviews. They might not but you know you always get the odd one that you know calls you but um, obviously, I'm no expert. You know, I say I say what I see. I mean, for me, I'm just as e I'm just as easy getting a pint glass and pouring the wine out rather than going for a wine glass. I mean, I do off camera. Don't want to keep going up for a glass of wine, do you? Pouring off some small glasses. Get a big glass out. Job's good. And pint of wine. Oof. I've had a pint of brandy before, so a pint of wine is nothing. Oh. So I've got two gardens to do tomorrow. I'm waiting on my drink supermarket beer hall. Hundred pound on a beer hall. Jesus, mother of Christ. <clears throat> That won't happen again. <clears throat> Although, to be fair, I'm looking at Retro's and the Cardo and the, their beers and uh, getting a, um, doing a, a beer haul from both of them. Because I, I know last time I looked at a Cardo, <clears throat> it worked out there was 150 quid's worth that I've never ever had before. And that's a lot. And that's 150 quid's worth that you can't get in any normal supermarkets or any shops that I've seen. Same with Retro's, a lot in there that I've not had before. There's a lot of the brands that you're used to having, but there's a lot you just you don't seem to be able to get anywhere else. And uh, with Retro's, when they were doing their £20 off, I actually got the £20 off, and all I did was a beer order. The bloke was laughing his head off when he comes to do this. I've never seen one of these. Just, just ordered 80 quid's worth of beer. I said, yeah, oh, it's my son. Did it for my birthday. He says, can't fault you, mate. And you got your money off as well. Yeah, yeah. He's laughing his head off. He says, bless you. <laughs> oh, it did make me smile. Some cracking beers as well. Did I review them back then? No. No, this was before. This was before the time of doing reviews. Or was it? it? Might have been at the very start of the channel. But I didn't do beer haul videos then. That was a that was a, a recentish thing that I did. Because obviously you go to shops and people don't realise what you get from different shops. I mean I've got the shops I use that I know that are decent, that aren't ripping you off, because you, you, I don't want to be ripped off by shops. You know. You don't mind paying a sort of price. But <clears throat> there's a shop in Nottingham in the city centre and you walk in and um, I look to the price and I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, I know you, want, I know you need to survive a business like that, but the prices on some of the beers were a bit top ever, shall we say. And that's as much as I'm going to say because I won't even tell you where it is. 
Needless to say, I bought nothing and walked out. I was like, fuck you now. <coughs> Ten quid and above for beers. Oof. No way. Now the flavour's starting to come through. It took a while. That traditional beer that I've just drank, the maltiness really affected my palate. Now. Hmm. Quite a nice, strong, full-bodied. Um, trying to pick out the flavours. I'm that busy talking, I forgot about the flavour. I turn my phone off, this battery's about to go. For me, this has got tannins in. It's very... Definitely feels that way anyway. And obviously tannins protect you against colds. And uh, look on it, go and Google it, if you don't believe me. Red wine, tannins and colds. Does it protect you against colds and flu? Yes. Could red wine be the uh, cure against coronavirus? It might not be, but it's a fucking good way to go. You look on the news again tonight, more countries are going into this. Uh, you're going to have to lock down when you come back. And you think to yourself, oh, fuck me, it's not worth going anywhere. It's just not worth it. Unless, you, unless you're that rich that you don't need to um, worry about self-isolating. I mean, even us as a family, we've all lowered our guard against it. You know, there was a stage at the very start of it where it was like a military operation and we've all lowered our guard and, uh, you know, it's still very dangerous, especially for, like, my wife's mum who, who has got uh, angina, um, breathing issues. She would be, you know, at that top of that list. But you say that, then you see other people who've got really bad issues and they've had coronavirus and they've got over it as easy as hell. So it just goes to show you, it really is a, a, a strange, strange old thing. And do they, do they blame coronavirus for deaths when it had nothing to do with it? It does make you wonder. It does make you wonder if you've been frightened into something. You know, you watch X Files, conspiracy theories that the government wanting to control you. Mm, bugger me! Every, everything about it, a lot of it's happening. What's happening now was in X Files, and uh, it does make you wonder. You know, oh, I'm absolutely Baltic. This this review is going to have to be a bit. No way have I been talking for 13 minutes. No way. So, cherry into vanilla. Into vanilla. Yeah, that could be an Italian football club, couldn't it? Into vanilla. A hint of vanilla. Um, definite dark fruits. Definite tannins. Quite a nice red wine, actually, to be fair. And obviously, it's only the dinky bottle. Um, something like one pound fifty, one seventy-five from Little. Um, they've got their box of um, mini wines because these are perfect for taking, you know, to a mate's house or whatever. You know, if you only want to drink one bottle, or if you don't trust people pouring your drinks. You know, if you could go into a party and you're a bit wary of dodgy buggers, you know, pouring your own drink out, keeping an eye on your drink. You know, I mean, if you don't trust people, you really shouldn't be going anywhere near. But, obviously, it does happen. There are a lot of strange people in this world. A lot of evil people. You know, it's good to, um, it's good to be wary. 
I mean, I, I had a friend who would never sit with his back. To, in a, you know, in a restaurant, he'd always sit at the table so he could see out. Me, I sit with my back to people. But, I'm watching people. A raised voice, I, I like that, you know. And you watch people anyway. In my background, being working on f f uh, public parks, you watch people all the time. You can spot idiots a mile off. Um, you really can. I forgot where I was going there, so no. Back to the wine. Ooh. Real rush at the end. That's what you get for drinking loads. Ooh. So, overall, a very quaffable wine. For me, full bodied, tannins, um, dark fruits into cherry on the nose, certainly dark fruits, cherry on the taste, a hint of vanilla. A bloody wind's getting up again as well. If it wrecks that gazebo. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. At a five. 4.3 out of 5. Yeah, it was alright. I might have what it is. Cheap as chips. But the wines don't have to be dear. You know, they just have to taste nice. That's all it's about. All these idiots that go, oh, I've just got it. I can taste oak and, uh, yes, a bit of, a bit of, um, lightly roasted. And you think, fucking hell, does it taste nice? Well, that's it from this wine review. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Listen to me, rabbit on. And uh, see you soon. And as always, stay safe. And uh, don't go out this weekend because it's freezing, it's wet, it's fucking miserable. I'm in the shed and I'm absolutely, the bear room. And I'm absolutely frozen. Anyway, cheers.